Howdy folks, we are following up on the Sharpto Massacre with a look at possible responses to this massacre by the PAC and the ANC, which as you probably remember have been banned by the white apartheid government. So, without further ado, your goal in this screencast is that you should be able to say when you're done that you can explain the pros and cons of the three possible responses to the Sharpto Massacre. Obviously, there are more than three, but we're going to categorize them into three. If you can do this, great. If not, well, you should head back and recheck some things out or do some more thinking. Um, you'll probably do these notes in a T-chart. If you can find another way to do it, that's totally fine. Um, it's up to you, as always. So what do you do? Thousands of people have been arrested. The main resistance parties for kind of changing how whites rule the country have been banned. Um, how do you move forward in trying to end apartheid? There's kind of three ways of looking at this. You could continue using nonviolent resistance, um, which has been at the core of the beliefs of the the black South African kind of uh, equality and independence movement. And to abandon that principle now would be bad. Um, it would show the world that you've given up, it would show your people you're given up, and that you don't have the courage to stand up for your belief in nonviolence anymore. It's worked in India, so it could work in South Africa. Um, and eventually, when reconciliation happens with whites and democracy is established, it's going to be a lot easier to kind of do those things if nonviolence has continued to use nonviolence has continued to be used now. So stay the course. Remember, the stronger man or woman makes their beliefs known through nonviolent means and doesn't react violently. So in your notebook now, what I'd like you to do is title this um, Response to Sharpville, and this option is Continue with Nonviolent Resistance. So list two advantages of continuing with nonviolent resistance, as well as two disadvantages with continuing with nonviolent resistance. Also, what kind of justice will come out of using nonviolent resistance? That's something to think about as well. Give you a second to do that, and then we'll move on to the next one, which is using sabotage, which is limited structured violence. Um, and despite tons and tons of attempts for decades to engage the white government in talks, uh, the black resistance leaders have been turned down. The government won't allow the resistance movement to fight peacefully anymore because they're outlawing and banning and putting people in jail. And so all of the possible legal actions um, that could have been taken have been made illegal by the white government. If well-organized and well-structured, limited sabotage targeted at the workings of the white government would demonstrate the power of the black resistance movement, would make the white government less effective, and show the international community that the blacks are still dedicated to pre preventing the death excuse me, the deaths of innocent white South Africans. It would also show that people massacred at places like Sharpville haven't died in vain. So, this is sabotage, the use of limited structured violence, and lists two advantages of this, as well as two disadvantages of using sabotage. And think about what kind of justice will come out of using this option. It's the third question I want you to think about. Fourth option would be uh, to advocate guerrilla warfare. It's a violent white regime. It only understands violence, and in order to gain independence, black South Africans must speak its language. The nonviolent struggle, struggle hasn't posed a threat to the white regime. Um, the, the blacks have simply offered themselves up to be shot. But if fear can be created among the whites, then maybe they will give up their power. do this by eliminating the forces that are standing in the way and random spontaneous attacks on police and other whites will get their attention and hopefully force action that's the only way to win the country back and this is the way towards a revolution as with the other two title this advocate guerrilla warfare and explain two advantages as well as two disadvantages of using guerrilla warfare and think about what kind of justice will come out of using this option So, now that you're done with that, read over the document that's linked below this screencast on my website. Write up your opinion 
about what you think the ANC should do after thinking about this screencast and reading the opinions on that document. Feel free to use qu quotes from the docs below or from your notes and consider what the apartheid government will do based on your choice when you make the choice to choose one of these actions. So your goal was to be able to explain the pros and cons of the three general responses that the black resistance movements could have to the Shrevel Massacre. If you can do that, great. If not, head back and rewatch the screencast. Thank you.